<laughs> we are here with the next episode of. I'm supposed to say your name. <laughs> with me, David Moore, and Michael Moore. Why did I sound confused <laughs> about my name? <laughs> so, gentlemen, what shall we talk about? I don't know. You you had a question earlier. You wanted to talk about allegations or something yeah. earlier. Oh yes, yes. Uh, so I was just wondering of the recent, well, not recent at all, but the allegations. Well, they weren't even allegations, but the J. What, what the fuck is his name? Uh, James Wan. Not James Wan. The guy in Guardians of the Galaxy. James Gunn. Yeah, James yeah. Gunn. What did you think of his, like, controvers- controversial tweets? Well, you see, the thing is, like, they were talking about his tweets being, like, allegations, like, comparable to, like, what Kevin Spacey did or what Harvey Weinstein did, but he just did bad jokes on Twitter. I don't think he should be, like, fired for anything. But he still said some weird shit. Like, he said yeah. some bad stuff. I think he had, a, like, an edgy sense of humor. It was, like, from a different time as well. It was, like, ten years ago or something. The Scooby-Doo phase of his life. Oh, shit. At the same time as he was, like, writing those oh, Scooby-Doo yeah. movies, writing these jokes about kids, that's spookier than the movies. Yeah. That's spookier than Spooky Island. I love if they just show up on Spooky Island. It's just James Gunn at a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to edit all the pictures in for it. Oh my Just god. Like, <laughs> I like this one. This is a good picture. Your image of Hitler as well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this picture. Well, Liam, what's your opinion on, like, should you be fired for jokes? I mean, at the end of the day, they're jokes. He didn't really specify. It was kind of just a stupid, like, joke, kind of. Let's look them up. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. So, one of them said, The Expendables was so manly, I fucked the shit out of the little pussy boy next to me. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. You see, when you, when you hear of them, like, when you hear of them, you're like, Oh, yeah, he just made edgy jokes. But then when you actually read them, you're like, Like, our initial reaction there was just like, Whoa! He originally tweeted them, and no one cared, because he wasn't that well known. And he deleted the tweets as well, like, obviously, he agreed with us that they were like, Whoa. Or did Funny. he get rid of them because he was like, shit, someone might find this that I'm famous. Dave. Yes. I hear you're going to the National Youth, no, National Young Film and Animation School this year. So I went last year and the film course there is like 10 days long. <clears throat> and the one for the animation, I, they're only, it was the first time trying it. So it was only five days long. What Fun this? fact, I did the film course and that's actually how I know Dave. He did. We met there. Fun fact. A, I also did it too. But not at the same time as those guys. Exactly. No. So you don't count. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but since it got such good feedback, and everybody really enjoyed it, they extended it to 10 days. This that year. you doubled it this year. Wow. So that's what I've gone back for in August. Last year? When Mike did NYFS, there was no such thing as the animation course there. Tell us. <laughs> Did you like the National Young Film School? Yeah, at the time of my life when I went there. It was fantastic. Did you learn much? I learned a good bit, yeah, but I was mostly doing sound, which, like, isn't my uh, area that I, like, work in now. I mean, like, I learned a lot about sound, but, you know, it wasn't what I really wanted to do. Imagine if you got in camera, you would have gotten a real head start in the game. Yeah, I guess so, but, like... The following March, I got my like hands on the same cameras they use, and we actually borrowed it from young Irish filmmakers to shoot um, Katie McKenna's shell. So, so Liam, would you ever go back and consider doing the art and animation course? Early on this year, I actually did consider it. However, it's been a very hectic summer, and my idea for this summer was that I get all my film projects I want to do over and done with before six year so that I would have fixed fi? have six year just to study for the leaving cert. I think that if I were to do the animation course or have that extra 11 days taken away from my summer, I would have not benefited, but the opposite of benefited. What's the opposite of benefit? Dis- yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on your screen right now. I feel like it's detriment. It was detriment to you. Detrimental. Detriment, dentures. Yes. So we're just going into the cinema and we're gonna look like crazy people just we're not vlogging but we're like audio logging. Yeah. Doing o- a in public is a bit strange because people give you looks but 
Oh, there's a lot of weirder stuff going on, like people actually recording themselves visibly with their phones, vlogging. Like Casey too. Neistat. Yeah, sure. Everyone wanting sure, to be sure. Casey Neistat. Sure, sure. Mike has just told me that his friend works in Cineworld, so this is what he has to say. Hi, I'm Liam. Hi. Hi, Liam. Nice to meet you. We're recording a podcast. Would you like to say anything? Um, welcome to Cineworld. I hope you have a great uh, time here. <laughs> yeah. So are you guys going to see Dora the Explorer, the movie? Yeah. When's of course. <laughs> Of course. Connor. Of course. Oh, wait, we just met oh, another of Mike's friends. Another guy. Oh, you say Jaws. Yeah, me too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, nice. My name's Liam, by the way. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Connor. Hi. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I've got a podcast as well. What's your podcast? For your consideration. Well, for all the listeners at home, all six of you. <laughs> yeah. Nice. We'll be right back at you after this, after this commercial break. Do, 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 buy our shit.